So very quickly, I want to also talk about uh, how to create a component. Now, when you're creating a component, you of course uh, need to worry about few things. So let us say if you want to add a new component, you have few things like uh, component name. Let us say you have a component like uh, component one, two, three, whatever. You have to add your lead if you have a lead in case you have a component lead and when you have a component lead you can also do few things like uh, you can make your component lead as the default uh, assignee for uh, the project or not the project but for the issue so let us say if uh, your uh, component let us say you have a component here which is uh, let me select admin and maybe you want your admin to be the default assignee for any issue where you have a component called component one. Now, to to basically do this uh, from your uh, script, what you need to do, you need to of course uh, take care of all these things. And let me try to explain how it can be done by writing a simple script. So. I'll use of course component accessor. This is this is basically this is basically something that I always try, and uh, you can do a lot of things with component accessor. And when you when you're working with the, let us say IntelliJ, you can also write code very quickly, and it will help you and assist, assist you basically. And uh, when you press dot, you can see or you can basically type in like component something component manager the component manager makes sense and we basically need project component manager we might need comp project component manager but to check whether this is something that we really need we can uh, take a look at some methods so maybe we're trying to create something so there is a method that i can immediately see uh, which is create now it has uh, several arguments and you can see here that it will return uh, project component and uh, what I can do, I can uh, simply select it. And there were a lot of uh, parameters that I need to pass, starting with string one, string two, string three. And uh, if you want to know more about uh, how this works, what you can also do, you can, uh, I believe you can also take a look at the Java docs. So let us type in here. Let me... Uh, search something like Jira API create component so I, I can already find I can already see one uh, link here that says project component let me in increase the size slightly and uh, you can see here that we have this we have to specify these parameters like name of the component description of the component lead username assignee type and project ID so let us do that and uh, for this particular script, I will again uh, pass in my component name, which is, uh, let us say, component2. I can't think of anything else. Lead username, it is a string, so I guess I can simply type in my username. Then you have to specify your uh, assignee type. Now this assignee type, is basically a number that you need to pass and basically if you look at here there's a select list where you have things like component lead default uh, project default project lead so you can pass in a number like one two three and uh, you can always read the java docs jira java docs to know more about these things but since it says long so i can pass a number let us try with one and uh, the last a, the, the last parameter is basically the project ID. Now my project ID is, uh, let me just check. So I, if I click on, let us say, I'm trying to, you, usually when you are working with uh, Jira and if you hover your mouse on a specific uh, operation, it can somewhere tell you the project ID. So let me try to edit the project, uh, maybe the name. If I click on project settings, maybe I'll, uh, I'm, I'm still looking for, for some ID that I can see. 
although I know the idea, I'm just trying to show you how it works. So if I click on the details, I hope you can see at the very bottom, we do have uh, the ID, PID is equal to 10,000. It's a bit small, but uh, you can see here at the very bottom. Now let us use this um, in the script and I'll pass in here 10,000. And that is it really. And what I can do, I can maybe maybe use a component, uh, maybe, a, maybe a variable component that I want to create. And I believe I can just, you know, do a return, I guess, just to see maybe name of the component, I will display, try to display the name. So let's run this. And uh, right now we can take a look at these components and we have these three. So we can uh, maybe run the script here called create project component. Let us run it. And uh, we have an error, which is fine. <laughs> uh, so it says here, no signature method for blah, blah, blah. Basically, I think the arguments are mismatching. So let me take a look at the script. So I think I missed the description. So I can type in here component to description. Hopefully it is correct. I don't see any error in the IntelliJ or any indication. But if I click on the run button, let us see. So now we, we have component two. There is no error. Of course, I can uh, handle the errors. But I just wanted to show you the method. And uh, I, I, I also wanted to quickly show you how to take a look at the Jira Java APIs. Now let us click on the let us take a look at the project. Now we have uh, component two, which is active and uh, lead is admin, we have the description and we have default assignee, which is component lead. Um, so of course, we can pass in two, three, I guess, to specify the default assignee. So this is basic, basically the assignee type that you need to specify. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And uh, you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.